There's something sacred about a company secret, but when a business has to grow, it presents an inevitable question. When and how do you give up that secret? From cookies to cosmetics, companies looking to scale quickly and in an affordable way turn to contract packagers. A co-packer is a full-service company that handles all aspects of production, including packaging and labeling. Bakery owners trying to get a piece of the $500 billion baked goods industry struggle with the decision to give up their secret recipes to a co-packer for faster scalability. One business facing this dilemma is family-run J. Bear Bake Shop, founded in 2014 by sisters Courtney Johnson and Jamie Harbin. The home bakers pooled their life savings and maxed out their credit cards to start their bakery. So we are from scratch bakery in the heart of the South where cooking is like everything. Courtney feels the responsibility to preserve her grandmother's secret recipes. We have always wanted to have a family business and now that we have it, I don't want to let that go. With $120,000 of projected sales per year at stake, it's time to get down to business with Kevin and Bethany. How are you, sweet ladies? <laughs> Fabulous, Doing great. how are you? So the dilemma is to co-pack or not to co-pack. That is correct. We have this crux at a growth strategy. I want to focus on our organic growth and new locations. My degree is in business administration with the emphasis in computer information systems, so we have this really good opportunity to expand. While we want organic growth, and that was in our business plan, we need to ramp up production. What's the opportunity? So right now we're in the Nashville airport. It's a 10-year federal contract that we are in the Tennessee Tribune store. They have one that is post-security. The second one that they're opening up is pre-security, and that construction is almost done. So you're going to be on both sides of security. You're going to get traffic from both sides. Correct. So what are you selling in there? We are selling three of our bars. We have the Blondie, the Strawberry Blondie, and the Ooey Gooey's. Where are these products? Can we try them? Yes, they should be coming. Oh, OK. What? I mean, okay. you're talking yeah, about products. Was... You don't have any here? That there was, was a snafu. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So they are being delivered to us as we speak. If you're an entrepreneur and you're getting an opportunity like this to go on national television, and it's all about the product, why wouldn't you have a backup plan? Right. Like maybe put some in your purse or something. We have a chance to shoot it. We can try it. But no, we can't do that. Wow. OK, that's not great. Well, Kevin can't taste brownies, but he can taste money. What kind of numbers are you doing? The numbers will not lie. For last year, from the business in, ex in itself, was $188,000. What do you think this year is going to look like? I think we'll be at close to half a million. Whoa. Um, between that You're going to go from one eighty eight to 500000 I do believe that. Sounds like a great opportunity. What's the problem? We don't want to lose our recipes. What do you mean, we? If there's a conflict, it's you. Well, I'm the brand, so people have attempted to, you know, make off with a recipe or two. We specialize in, like, unique, made from scratch. Like, we use a lot of local vendors. There's kind of that homemade aspect to everything that we create. Really risky to kind of give that away to the co-packer. But do you want growth? Yes. If you want to be Mrs. Fields, if you want to be Famous Amos, those are people who had co-packers and also these people gave up their recipes to a co-packer. Yeah, I mean, you you agree with me, though. But, but like, what, I mean, what happens I understand. You, hold on. It's I the, do, hold on. I don't agree with you, but I understand. If you want to make a lot of money, you have to give away your A idea and your recipes. People always hold their idea. I don't want to tell my idea. Don't tell anybody my idea. It's only execution. There's three things you should be worried about. Your brand, your brand, and your brand. Everything else doesn't matter. How does Coca-Cola that sells hundreds of millions of bottles a month, they have a secret recipe. It's sitting in Atlanta in a safe. Everybody on Earth knows the brand. You kind of get the joke here? You're on the cusp of something really interesting here. How did you get into the airport? That's not an easy feat. It was through my connections that I got this airport grid. And you think the airport business will continue to expand. The more traffic, the mm -hmm. more bars. And you can get more facings, more SKUs in there, right? That is correct. And what's the difference in profit for airport to your brick and mortar? Right now, in the airport, we're making about 5%. You're bearing the cost of goods, right? You're making the brownies, and you get 5% of whatever they sell for. Correct. We got to make sure we're making money here. We both have to know that. Otherwise, this airport business is worthless. Do we make money selling in the airport? 
is a 5%. I know, that's 5%. We don't you, know what the, the amount right. is compared to the amount of your brick and mortar store. We need to know those numbers. It's about 50% in our brick and mortar. Um, the cost that they are selling them at the airport right now is $2.99. Okay, $2.99 per bar. And what's it cost you to make it? The Blondie is 86. 86 cents? Mm hmm. Okay. The ooey gooey is 105. Whoa, what's in the ooey gooey? It's so expensive. We can't tell you that. That's well, the way we're going to get to we'll that in a minute. There. Okay, 105, <laughs> 86. What's the other one cost? 98 for the strawberry blonde. Just, yeah, just, you know, a just buck, say a okay? dollar. So if it's a buck to make it, you get a dollar five from them. Is that the idea? But if you were making more brownies, your cost would go down. Yes. A buck of brownies is expensive. How do you work together? Well, she handles m most of the admin type of things, you know, invoicing and things of that nature that we don't have the but time But don't for. get it mixed up because I do go to the shop mostly on the weekends because I do have a full-time job right now. What is your full-time job? I work as a business analyst for Terminix. Hold up. How are you running a business that you want to scale into an airport while having a full-time job? I'm running the business on the day-to-day. -day. And you're 50-50? 51.49. Whoa! I mean, every time we ask another question, we peel the onion. We're peeling the onion. It's Pandora's box. You have control. Courtney, that how'd that happen? That was a recent, in the last year, financial reason that, um, due to investment, we had to... You mean to... she had to put up money to save the bakery? That's why she's now in control? Is it that what the interpretation of... It save it. She invested more money than I had at the time. How'd that happen? We've been growing year over year, but due to COVID, we were trying to keep our staff employed. So you needed some capital to stay afloat. And you went to your sister. She said, look, I'm not giving you any cash unless I get control because it's my money. That's basically what happened. How much, how much money? Probably about 60. $60,000, yes. right? right? Let's be clear. Mm -hmm. So if you have 51%, Jamie, what are we doing in the money court? You have the right to do whatever you want. Yes, I could say, okay, forget this. Uh, this is what I'm doing. But because, yes, all these years we've been 50-50, it's like, okay, let me take your opinion. And yes, you are running it day to day, so let's see how we um, you, you came to money court so Bethany and I could adjudicate this mm -hmm. from a third party arm's length distance based on the facts. And the family, because if she goes to the mattresses, there'll be a family rift in the business. I and get that, I get that. But this opportunity of growth must be dealt with. We're going to deal with it now. All right, All right, we're going to deliberate. We got it. Thank you so much. Let's deliberate. Back in the money court, Kevin and Bethany are beginning deliberations on whether or not sisters Jamie and Courtney should use a co-packer to expand their bakery business. This is an opportunity to get big. But I will say it's nice to have that partner because that's the partner that keeps you honest, meaning while you get big, that's the person that's making sure you're not selling out. But I've seen this movie before. Administering a business with a co-packer is different than baking custom cakes. Those are two different businesses. They're about to get a huge opportunity to take this brand and sell tens of thousands of units. So if they can get one airport, and they can show sell-through on the shelf at a decent margin, that gets them into every airport if they have that vision. Let's go down the list. Number one, co-packer. Co-packer with Courtney's management to make sure the quality is insured, right. there's integrity insured, the recipe's insured, that, that she likes the way that they're doing it, and she trusts this co-packer. And, and they're taking They go through five, and she has to choose one. And they're they taking both sides of the 10-year deal before security, after security. And I would have said, because of all the sweat equity, they should be equal partners. That boat has sailed. Why? Because they needed capital. She was the only one willing to put it up. No, she was the only one that had it. She took the risk. Yeah, but she can have control, but she doesn't have to have it. I think- but she wrote the check. Courtney's in the kitchen all day. I don't- uh, Cry me a river, so all the other employees. No, I actually disagree. I think What that are you gonna do, make her give back the 1%? She took the risk, she no. took the risk. You took the risk and what she's giving her back is saying, fine, we'll co-pack, it's a compromise. It gives Courtney psychological power. It's 2%. Uh, I don't see it that way. It's one point. You're not doing that, are you kidding? I would do that. No, I think why? she deserves Because she deserves it. Because if I were baking all day, I would want 50-50, especially for scaling. What happens if they need scaling. capital again? You're gonna keep giving free equity No, then away? they would both dilute. It was $60,000 she put in. She, she, Hold she... on, help me out. When they make, okay, when they start making money, 
from the business, they take that money to give her back. In that case, they change the 60,000 into a loan against the business back to 50-50 plus interest. Because she, Courtney never put anything into it. If ah, you, if you want no, to go... I'll, I'll see you and I'll raise you. They have to make the 60 back, pay it back. You net your salary that you're making at Terminix, you leave your job. You have to have some. You can't have two partners when you, and when one's you're not big working. And, when, I agree with you. When, when the distributions in the business equal your salary, that you have to get a number. Have, exactly. Have exactly. All right. Okay. That's good. That's good. We're going to turn the 60k into a loan. Go back to 50/50. It's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. They have a real opportunity. No, it's good. We give them a good roadmap. This is an excellent improvement. All right. Let's do it. We got it. Okay. So we have a solution that we both agree on mm -hmm. and that we think gets you to where you want to be and makes both of you happy. We have a verdict to render. You have to have a co-packer. I'm sorry. You just have to. There's a but. Let's say you look at five co-packers, and Courtney will approve one out of the five. And you'll oversee how the recipes are being made and the integrity of what you're selling is preserved. Nobody cares about the recipe besides you, meaning people care about what it tastes like. They can't execute it the way that you can and the way that you'll train this co-packer to execute it to your vision. No one's stealing your recipe. No one's stealing your idea. It's the execution. You're emotionally attached to something that needs to be a business decision because you entered into a business. So you keep the fire. Are you OK? I'm well, fine. Tell me what's happening. I'm just emotional about it. What do you? But, but, what do you? But you what do, you no, can hold, get an NDA. Good wait, hold on. We're talking about emotion. We're not talking about NDAs. What? What? What is it that you're afraid of specifically? If you can keep five it's recipes, just the, the letting go of it. Oh, you need a hug. You, know, you want a hug too? I don't want to be leaving yes, you out of the hug. Yes, yes. I want a hug too. I don't want to leave you out of the hug. Here's the thing. That's just like you. <laughs> Here's the thing. You don't have... This is also about what your goals are. You came into money court. If you want to grow this business, which we really want to get clear on, this is how to do it. We're not telling... I'm not telling you, because he, you know, sleeps in a mattress filled with money. So I'm, I'm not telling you that you need to go for, the, go for the Benjamins. I'm telling you that if you guys want to grow this business and you are aligned, that's what we think you should do. You have such an extraordinary opportunity in front of you. And, and oh my goodness, look, look what's here. Oh my gosh. Look Thank at this. Thank you, Lord. Look at Hallelujah. that. Hallelujah. I'm excited. All right. We don't have enough sweet snacks around oh, here. That's just because you're always on it. You're always worrying about your girlish figure. Right, here's Blondie. Here is. Uh, oh my God. What's that one? <laughs> oh, here's Ooey Gooey. Well, I'm All gonna right. tell you something. This is actually positive. I'm glad this showed up. Yeah, no kidding. You got. You, you got to use your teeth you can to get do this way open. Better. I mean, this is a happy accident that we saw this because we would have not even talked about it that long. Because I, I think the packaging could be so much better. No, this is better. like a deli. You need, and this is gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great for you. You need. You need to co-pack. Mmm. Mmm. Ichi wabakaramba. This is good. <laughs> oh my God! Wow, that, was that? that is amazing. Amazing. My ooey gooey. Because of the unique situation, two sisters, a family, business, etc. And I was not an advocate for this idea. And Bethany convinced me, and I believe she's right. That doesn't happen very often, but it happened here. We want you to be 50-50 again. We're going to turn that into a loan on the books of the company, okay? It has to pay you back. It's going to pay you the interest, whatever the nominal rates were during that period. But when this thing grows, which I think it's going to, and, you're, and you ingeniously get more airport contracts all over the country, you got to go full time. You can't be half time on this business. This side hustle will become this main hustle. You will be the next Wicked Good Cupcakes. You started small, <laughs> and three years later, you're going to sell for millions and millions of dollars because you have the contracts and you're gonna get more of them. This is excellent, but that's just one part of this business. Logistics really matter. You need each other. Stop listening to us and go to work. Yeah, go to work. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this.